Welcome to Indie Resources, long awaited 21st video in the uh, how to build a browser based in more tutorial series. I'm sorry for the long delay. What we're going to do uh, basically on the IndieResource.com website, I put a kind of a poll um, of what everybody wanted to, to see next, and uh, the overwhelming winner was Quest System. Um, as I started writing the Quest System for this, I realized there's not really a whole lot of things we can do for Quest. There's not a whole lot of reasons to do quest or you know the system isn't designed exactly for that so I'm gonna spend these next video or two getting us ready for a quest system and the first thing we need to do is create creature loot and that's been something we've had that people have asked a lot about too so we're gonna do that in this tutorial real quick um, first thing I want to do is let's go to creatures and in the creatures I created a couple new fields loot gold and is loot loot is just the name of the item that they'll, that they'll give away gold is how the maximum amount of gold they'll give away and is loot is the percentage of chance that they that they'll have loot on them so 50% for an orc 75% for a wolf in this case um, the other thing I want to do let's see let's let's run over to the actual game and just kind of test it out so you can see it real quick and you will know a, n a new backpack thing but I'll go over that here in a second we'll go to battle and arena now I did make my sword really powerful my guy because I didn't want to sit there and battle and battle when I was testing this so you'll see me kill something pretty quick um, you'll notice the orc's been killed you loot one gold piece I guess I need to put a period there you find you find an orc tooth on the orc go back now before we didn't have an inventory like a backpack that we could actually check so, um, which actually looks like battle uses a separate stat panel. I'll fix that. But uh, you get the gold, and then so you can see what you have, you can actually click on backpack, and you'll see orc tooth. And I didn't really add any stats or a type because for now we we're probably going to use that for crafting and things like that later. But I just wanted to create an item system where you could go in and see your your stuff, and I'll show you how I did that real quick. Um, basically, if you go into um, let's go to stat panel because that's what pulls up that side and if you notice I just put an extra link for back for the backpack but what I did was is I decided instead of making a, a backpack page be kind of a, kind of a waste so I just I created um, I'm gonna use equipment but I, I created a get variable one's called equip equals one one called backpack equals one and it just sets that variable depending on which one you 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 click it both goes to the same page so if we go into equipment we'll see that if is set get the equip so if they if they clicked on the equip it's gonna set it to equal to one that means it's set then it's gonna do the weapons and armor but if they click the backpack that's gonna set the backpack variable and it's gonna do is set get backpack the reason why I didn't do if backpack equals one or equip equals one is because then you're gonna it doesn't set the equip so it's gonna say if equip equals one um, you're going to get a undefined variable there, so it's best to do is set gets backpack. Because if you hit backpack, equipment doesn't get set, yet it's still going to look for it. This way, it's saying if it's set, if not, go on. So it's just easy way to divide it, to, depending on where you're clicking, and you only have to use one page for both of them. Then basically, I just put a simple, um, just a simple uh, table in here. You'll notice that I took out the font color thing and started using the the spacers. There's better ways to do this, but I just real quickly, I just threw the spacers in there. And um, if you have Dreamweaver and you just hit the um, and key and then in, it'll pop up as that. But uh, it looks a little better, and then that way you can change the colors and all that stuff and not have to worry about that line showing up. Um, so that's really simple on that. The other thing is is the use item. I didn't want like an orc tooth coming up in battle. Whenever you go to battle in arena and you go to use item, I didn't want that orc tooth showing up so what I did was if you go to use item I made a if the type equals healing now you're gonna have lots of different type of items that you may want to use in battle the, so you just need to add them here when you create them right now all I have is healing items um, so I just put equals healing then go ahead and give you go ahead and create the table but if not then don't put anything there um, let's say that after that you have um, let's say you have a grenade let's just say so then you would just put and and what I would do is any kind of weapon items I would just put the type as combat and then that way we can just come in here and actually that's wrong we want to do the or or type equals 
combat. And then that way, if it's labeled combat, it'll come up also. Um, and then you can just continue to add whatever items in there. And that way, it doesn't pick up anything that you want that you don't want to show up in battle because you're not going to use a wolf pelt in battle. Um, not necessarily, anyway.